What's up, everybody? Tricky Boom coming at you with another episode of Non Fungible News. So, uh, today we are going to just be going over uh, how to buy NFTs on VeChain. Uh, so, for what we're doing here, it is the Sync 2 wallet, which can be used on a desktop, which you can see I am on a desktop. I prefer the VeChain Thor wallet because all of the dApps are right in there. All the different coins, uh, VExchange, everything's, everything is right in the wallet. You don't have to go back and forth from uh, tab to tab or anything like that. It's all right in the wallet. But uh, I do have a Sync2 wallet, and I'll be showing you how to set that up, connect it to... Um, World of V and to VC. So you just if you just Google uh, World of V, if you want to get onto World of V, you just Google it. Comes right up. Uh, make sure your Sync Two wallet's all set up. You'll if you well, you just have to go through and set up that wallet. It's pretty easy to do. Um, so click connect. Open Sync Two. Yes. Open. And then, um, where did we go? Right there. So, uh, continue. Just going to sign that you are allowing it to uh, hook up to World of V. Good to go. So, we'll jump back over. So, we are connected. Now you have the option to disconnect. So you go home, you see the home place here, top artists, which World of V has a lot of sm smaller artists with their, their own little art creations, which um, you can buy on here. It's really cool. I mean, there's a lot of unique stuff. It's like going to an art gallery. You know, may not be huge collections, but it's cool, unique art, and you're supporting somebody. And you can see all the top collectors on here and um, featured collections, all that good stuff. Um, so, home, you can go to the marketplace. Um, and this marketplace, if you just click marketplace, it takes you to, actually I haven't even been on here on a desktop in a long time. So you can see uh, you got some vet pets on here. You got all the different all the different NFT projects that are on World of V. You will find on the marketplace, obviously. Um, there's some good deals on some vet pets. Look at I could I could uh, buy him for forty nine ninety nine vet, and I could look almost like vet pets himself, vet Lieber. Uh, but obviously it's not him. So, anyway, that's uh, the marketplace for everything on World of V. You go to VHashes, they got their own um, separate place on the uh, World of V. I'd have to reconnect if I wanted to again, but you can jump over to World of, uh, to uh, VHashes. Uh, the Genesis NFTs, you can jump over there, which if you were... Uh, well, oh, I guess it's not sync, but it looks like it is. Anyway, uh, you can see how their collection works. Go through, collect uh, all their different stuff. Get your uh, Africa set, your Olympic set, your whale, all that good stuff on World of V. Go through here, pick out what you want to buy. Lithuania. Barbados, Malawi, Croatia, everything's right on here. So um, that is that. The Genesis. You can create NFTs on here. You got to set up an account. Um, you got to have yourself an account on here, and then just play around with it. I mean, you might create something cool, sell it. You might uh, be the next big thing. Who knows? But the opportunity is there. Uh, your profile, yeah, see, so to be able to mint, please create a profile, which I do not have on uh, Sync 2. 
and then they got tutorials and uh, where's V balls? I don't see V balls. Either way, they're on here. So that is the world of V marketplace in a nutshell. And they've made some really nice upgrades to it, by the way. So good job, World of V. Your marketplace is looking awesome. Um, also, you can generate uh, World of V native token by holding the Genesis token uh, NFTs. And I don't know about uh, anything else on there. But anyway, let's go over to VC. Same thing. Connect your wallet. Um, allow open sync to. We'll go down to sync two. They want to. Uh, they want you to. They're requesting for you to sign to hook up to VC. Continue sign. Put in your password. And just like that, we are in to VC. So from here, you can search for collections. Go to collections, um, and they've had some really good upgrades to their marketplace. Also, you can filter by V Kings, you can filter V Kings by price, um, which looks like it's taken me to another tab on the desktop, which it won't on the mobile. Oh, but this is good. I wanted to go here anyway. We'll come back to that. Oh, V Kings community so collections so right here in the collections you can go honorary v kings check out uh eisenreich and satoshi milk vet lieber all that good stuff undead v kings that uh if you were in on the burn you had an opportunity to get one of them sacrifice v kings um We've got those. We've got V Ghost, V Serum, V Kongs, Galaxy Portraits, Vuminoids, Mad V Apes, Universe, Astro Vets, V Skulls, and Warbands. And coming soon, it says in my V Chain Thor wallet, right there. Coming soon, V Nerd. So that is the gist of. I mean. That's the gist of this website. Um, let's see here. Collections. Can I go to my... Okay, there we go. So in Sync 2, you just go up there. My portfolio, which is like I said, I don't have anything in here. I thought I did actually, but maybe not. Um, yeah, I got nothing in there. So anyway, you can see what you got. Listed, unlisted. Um, yeah, my portfolio, my marketplace, my received offers, my sent offers, it keeps track of all of that. Um, you can make a watch list, you can make your settings, your minimum uh, bid price. So if you don't want somebody bidding for 10 vet on a an ape or, or a viking that you're selling for, 25,000, you can just weed that kind of crap out if you don't want it, but you don't have to if you're okay with uh, a little bit lower sales. So anyway, that is uh, the long and short. I wish I had something in this wallet so that I could show you how to uh, list it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you got you to gotta sign it, sign the contract once so that... Um, VC has access to that NFT or collection, I should say, of NFTs. And then you put your asking price, and it tells you uh, how much goes to VC, how much goes to the creator, and uh, whatever else is on there. If you want to buy one, you click on it. Um, you'd say make offer, or okay, so this one's not even for sale, so it's just getting offers. Uh, let's see one that's actually for sale right there so if you wanted to make an offer you can make an offer if you want to buy now you could buy now you can look here at the attributes um, you can look at the offer see if you're outbidding somebody else you can add it to watch list right there click the heart 
And next thing here, we have this tool, which is, um, it works for everything. I mean, not everything yet, but it, it's it's integrating every project into it. So here we have Vserum. Um, you can you can filter by rank. You can filter by price, high to low, low to high, ID, high to low, low to high. Um, you can go, <coughs> excuse me, V Kings, same thing. You can see the auctions. Um, you can see the rarity. You can see the sales history, and you can see the VNFT portfolio coming soon. And you can do that with Undead, Sacrifice, Mad V Apes, Galaxy Portraits, and I would suspect that uh, more will be coming soon. So, that is the long and short of how to buy a VNFT if you got any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to anybody in the space, myself, VC, whoever else. So anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful, and please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's get this out to as many people as possible. Tricky Boom, over and out.